Howdy y'all, Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas. And today I'm going to have a homework helper on stoichiometry and verticalization. You'll need a periodic table, you'll need a polyatomic iron chart, and you'll need your calculator. I'm going to make a few assumptions. First, that you know how to write chemical formulas, that you are familiar with moles and molar mass, that you know how to write a balanced chemical equation, and that you know how to use the periodic table. All right, here's the problem. What mass of silver nitrate reacts with 25.0 grams of potassium carbonate? And this is what we call a stoichiometry problem. And so we're going to have to stop and think about this one and plan it out. So we're going to need a chemical equation. We're going to need to know the mole ratio. We're going to need to know the molar masses. And so let's analyze the situation. We have silver nitrate, which is AgNO3, and we are going to react that with some potassium carbonate, which is K2CO3, and this produces silver carbonate and uh, potassium nitrate. So there's our equation, and what we need to do is balance it. So let's balance it to the blackboard. There's our formula, or our equation, I should say. And I note that uh, I'm going to need to start with the most complicated. And the most complicated to me is the silver carbonate. So with the silver carbonate, I'm going to look at the 2 there. And that tells me I need to put a 2 over on the left side to get 2 silver. Now that gives me also 2 nitrate. So I need to go over and balance the nitrates. And at the same time that I balance the nitrates, I now have two potassium. So I've got to go over and balance the potassium, and it is. Now remember, you cannot change any of the subscripts, only the coefficients. All right, it's balanced. So onward. The mole ratio, well, according to what we have there, the mole ratio should be uh, 2 to 1 uh, for uh, silver nitrate and for potassium carbonate. And so we either have 2 to 1 or 1 to 2. All right, next step. Let's find the molar masses of our two reactants because we want to know about the silver nitrate and the potassium carbonate. Uh, let's first look at silver nitrate. And I'm going to go to my periodic table, and I'm going to find everything. So get out your periodic table, and let's write those down. Silver is 107.87 grams per mole. Nitrate, nitrogen is 14.01 grams per mole. And there are three oxygens, so we want to know what three moles would uh, weigh, and that would be 48.00 grams. Add all those up, and we will get 169.88 grams. And we're going to go to the hundredths place. Now let's go over to the potassium carbonate and do the same thing. Go to our periodic table, and there are two potassium. There's an one carbon and three oxygen. Add all those up, and we now have our two molar masses. Let's move to the next step, grams to moles. We're going to take grams of potassium carbonate and change it to moles of potassium carbonate. I believe we had 25 grams according to the problem, and there are 138.21 grams per mole. So what we will do is we will multiply by the ratio. The grams will cancel out, plug and chug. And we have 0.181 moles of potassium carbonate. So let's take our moles and change moles of potassium carbonate to moles of silver nitrate. And there's our ratio to remind us. 0.181 moles of potassium carbonate times 2 to 1. And the potassium carbonate will cancel out. And we'll multiply by 2 moles. And we get 0.362 moles of silver nitrate. And to the next step, now let's change moles of silver nitrate to grams of silver nitrate. And we do that with molar mass. Multiply by that. Make sure that silver nitrate moles cancel out. That way, when we check our units, we're sure to get things set up correctly. 
multiply those and we get 61.5 grams of silver nitrate will react with the 25 grams of potassium carbonate. Let's wrap it up. You wrote and balanced an equation. You determined the mole ratio. You calculated the molar masses. You changed the grams to moles. And you changed the moles to grams. All right. If you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. And don't forget to check out my websites at mrkazi'sworld.com or mrkazi.com. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. A lot of great videos there on algebra and chemistry. Happy islands, y'all.